In other news, five girls interviewed by the Research and Counseling Foundation for African Migrants from Early Marriage. Three other children, however, have babies with the men they were married to. Recent figures has placed the Volta region as one of the worst in terms of early child and forced marriages. In Kwanta North and South are ranked highest in the district distribution. This prompted a research and counseling foundation for African migrants, RECFAM, a Tamale-based NGO, to pitch camp in the area to help reduce the trend. The five intercepted girls were all being forced into early and exchange marriages for debts. At age 10, Laba was forced to marry. Amazed by the demand from her parents and scared by the size of the man she was betrothed to, Laba left home wondering. Fortunately, she met agents of Rec Farm who saved her. 14-year-old Doris had already spent two years of traumatic marriage life where she was turned into a punching bag by a man old enough to be her father. Bernice was 13. She was forced to marry an alleged drunkard. She is now 15 and wants to be a hairdresser. Gladys was to start a new life at the age of 14 as a wife to a man thrice her age because the extended family had neglected them after their father's death. The would-be husband is a benefactor and wants Gladys as a reward for the good gesture. The Rec Farm campaign in the Nkwanta North and South districts also identified three teenage mothers who would be assisted in various fields. The three all have babies. Director of Rec Farm, Alfred Mbinglo, called on parents to desist from the outdated cultural practices. They should send their girls' child to school because when you look at the community, the community has not changed. There are elderly people here who can testify. So our advice is that they should stop forcing the children to marry, but rather send them to school. 